Okay, so now we're gonna fix the final issues with our Android inputs, okay? So, first of all, open up this car interaction script. And as you know that on the car interaction script, we have a reference to the car control, player control, and the shooting controls, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this whole header from here and click on game manager. Then right here I'm gonna paste it. We already have a reference for the player control, so I'm gonna remove this second one. Then get back right here and we're gonna remove this if else condition as well. Alright now click on game manager. Then we already have a reference to the collide direction. We now need to make a reference to this car interaction script. So right after this, we will say car interaction. Name this as car interaction. Okay, then let's set up the reference right here. Right now in the update, let me move this if else condition at the top, at the very top. Okay, in the update method. Now, what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna say that if car interaction dot player in car is true and the collider action dot in shop is false or uh, you can do this as well if you want if this is false okay and then we're gonna also add if the player is not holding any rifle but for now, let's leave that. We just add these two. So if the player is in car, then what we want to do? We want the player controls to be false. We want the shop controls to be false. And we want the shooting controls to be false as well and we want the car controls to be true where it is right here so car controls dot set active true all right then we will add a else if and in the else if We're going to say if the player is not in car and the player is in the shop and also the player is uh, doesn't have any rifle, then let's copy that, paste it right here. Okay, and when we are not in the car, we are in the shop, then we want the player controls to be false. The This time the shop controls, we want it to true. Shooting control will be false, current control will be false as well. And also with this, we need to add the mobile controls as well. Use mobile controls is equals to true. Okay, make sure that that is added as well right here. Okay, and for now, let's remove this. Actually, Add it back again. Else, when the player is not in the car, not in the shop, not holding any rifle, then we want the player controls to be true, the shop controls, and everything else to be false. Okay, right here we will be adding one more condition uh, for the 
guns as well but for now leave this and let's test it out if this works or not okay on the game manager make sure that you drag and drop the car controls then the player controls or you can say the movement controls then the shooting and then the shop controls okay then make sure that the player cars is set to true okay because we will be testing all of it now so go ahead and play the game now if we rotate and let's run towards the cars okay now if we sit in the car as you can see the player controls becomes disabled we just have the car controls okay now let's drive towards the gun shop here it is stop the car let's get out of the car okay and let's go inside the shop here it is now if we press e as you can see we now just have the shop controls enabled and we can buy whatever we want okay if we buy pistol and let's buy the akm okay we exit the shop but we buy a pistol okay and now as you can see when the player is not in shop not in the car not shooting then we have the player controls enabled okay now if we pick up the rifle Okay, as you can see the shooting controllers is not active okay so now what we want that when the player has a gun AKM or M4 in its hands then we want the shooting controls to be set to true okay so let me close the game open up the game manager script again we already have reference to the shooting controls right now what we're gonna do is if we scroll up we have this pistol prefab AKM prefab M4 and then we open them it set the rifle 1 active to true rifle 2 and rifle 3 as you can see it set them to true whenever we try to change between them so what we can do right here now is we will say first of all right here that if uh, actually and rifle one active is false then copy it paste it two times then rifle two and then rifle three if they are false then we want the car controls to be true then the next one is for the shop controls so let's paste it right here so if they are false as well then we want the shop inputs to be true okay then now we need to add one more else if block in which we're gonna say if the player is not in the car and not in the shop and if the rifle one is active or rifle two or rifle three right here just add the or sign okay and rifle one or rifle two rifle three if any of them is true then what we want to do is we want the shop controls to be false player controls car controls and we want the shooting controls to be true that is it okay and when any of the rifle is true we want the shooting controls to be true but we also want the player controls to be true as well okay we don't want them disabled so save the script get back right here and enable uh, all of the rifles because we can't go to the shop again and again and buy rifles okay we just need to test it out now if it works or not okay so here is the player here is the player controls now if we 
uh, enable the first rifle as you can see the shooting controls become true now if the second rifle they are still true third and when we make it four as you can see they go disabled okay so now we can zoom in as you can see okay so it works now and everything else works perfectly fine as well now with our Android controls completed let's end this video right here and in the next videos we're gonna work on our options okay for our camera sensitivity and for the game difficulty and for the mobile inputs if they are on or off okay so see you guys in the next one